everyone welcome to story bite today i'm going to tell you a story of a tree and the name of the story is the nimba tree it's written by neeta berry here we go avi was a very friendly kind hearted and loving boy he lived in a village and there was a big nimba tree in the middle of that village many tiny creatures lived and played on that tree squirrels ran up and down all the time parrots chirped all day long and a pigeon family lived in a nest of twigs and grass all these tiny creatures they were avi's friends and avi loved to play with them on hot hot summer days many villagers they liked to sit under the shade of the tree they chatted all day long they fanned themselves and they drank buttermilk over there on one such hot day avi thought it's so hot today my friends must be thirsty too what should i do hmm maybe i should have a bird bath for them Yes that's a good idea. He rushed towards home and he brought a wide clay pot. He filled it with cool cool water and placed it under the nimba tree. He spread some grains around it too. And after some time the squirrels hopped down. And the parrots and the pigeons they flew down. They took sips of cool cool water. and then they pecked at the grains peck 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 and that was fun time for them they dipped their wings in the water and they splashed at each other oh my god that was so much fun avi became very happy he smiled at them and said oh this is my fast food corner friends and everything is free here for all of you one day a group of woodcutters saw the big nimba tree hmm the branches are so thick and strong we can sell the wood in the market and make lots and lots of money yes and that night they came with their axes when all the villagers were fast asleep they began to cut the branches chop 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 and one by one the branches fell down and after some time even the pigeon's nest was on the ground and the pigeon cried oh where will we go now oh, where will we lay our eggs oh. the woodcutters collected all the branches and they carried away quickly before the sun rises the very next morning avi saw the tree oh he was in tears big big tears even the bird bath was broken all the tiny creatures all his little friends they had gone away Oh the tree is in such a bad shape my nimba tree even the villagers felt very bad they shook their heads and they said nimba tree was our best friend we should never ever cut trees that's a wrong practice we should never cut trees at this avi said now let's plant more trees and everybody agreed they planted lot many saplings around the nimba tree yes and soon the rains began it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and very soon the new branches with fresh fresh green leaves grew on the nimba tree even the saplings they became strong and tall very soon all the birds the squirrels the tiny creatures 
they came back to the nimba tree and they began to sing avi was very very happy he smiled at them and he said oh welcome back my dear friends welcome back home he smiled at the parrot he smiled at the pigeons he smiled at the squirrels he even noticed that there were some manas and sparrows too and he said this time i will make a bigger bird bath for all of you all the friends they were very very happy to be together once again so that's the story of the nimba tree this story teaches a very very important lesson to all of us that we should never ever cut trees trees play a very very important part in our lives even these tiny birds these tiny creatures they live on trees trees give us shade they give us fruits flowers oxygen they clean the environment so they are very very important for our lives so we should always plant more and more trees so that's the story for today i hope you enjoyed it and i will come back come back with more stories till then bye bye